Now we come to Valentine's Day. Uh, this year, Valentine's Day is fairly nice. It's not on a full moon or a new moon. It's just kind of in the middle. It falls on a Sunday. So why not celebrate the whole weekend? <laughs> Maybe you can go away. Now, on Valentine's Day, the moon is in Taurus. And actually, that Saturday and Sunday, Taurus rules. So the Earth signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn will have an especially nice day. But Earth and water get along great. Earth and water creates flowers. So those two elements go together nicely. And those signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now let's say you're a little Aries. There's no law that says you can't celebrate Valentine's Day early on Friday night when the moon will be in Aries. And that's great for Leo and Sagittarius and for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So you see, everybody gets a turn over this weekend. I wanted to talk to you about love a little bit. Uh, you know, now that we are in the digital age and we have all these dating sites and we write, you know, who we want to meet and our profiles and put up pictures, and it's, it's kind of moving toward a job interview. <laughs> I think some of my friends, uh, girlfriends, put up way too many qualifiers for the person they'd like to meet. And uh, I, I said to my best friend, is, that, is this person even exist on Earth? <laughs> I mean, you, you have such a long list. But the, um, the dating sites encourage that. To, you know, to be specific about what you want, but sometimes we don't know what we want until we see it. So I'm encouraging you to be more open to different types. Don't put up so much barbed wire. I'm a bit alarmed at how specific both sexes are about who they're going to meet. And I know my girlfriends would be totally horrified if they knew the guys were doing the exact same thing as the girls were. You know, and this is why you're running into so many people who say, I can't get a date, I can't find anyone. Well, don't be too judgmental. You know, meet the person, give them a chance. If the chemistry is right, you'll feel it immediately. And I want you to have a good Valentine's Day. Now you may be saying, oh, it's a greeting card holiday. Well, yes, but all of us feel it's a little bit of a litmus test of our love life. Some of us are not ready for a relationship. If you've been disappointed in love, you need time. And don't let your friends tell you, well, you really have to get back out there, and it's been two months, and you better get going. Well, no, it could take longer than that. It can take as long as you say it is to feel better, to heal, and to be ready to tiptoe out, you know, perhaps with your friends. On this day, I, I wrote a few things on my calendar, and I hope you've got my calendar. I'll show it to you later. Um, the transiting moon will be in Taurus and in very friendly angle to Jupiter. So this means you'll be in a, a mood to be pampered, to go to a great restaurant, flowers, music, wonderful scents in the air. You know, and these are all the things that Cupid uses to make love happen. So get excited. And look, if you have no one to go out with, uh, go out with your friends.